Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, I'm going to review another new custom ROM for Redmi Note 8. So this time we have Arrow OS. And a few days ago, I have reviewed Evolution X ROM. Uh, and this ROM is very much similar to that. And performance-wise, battery backup-wise. And But it has a little bit more than that. So I will tell you about that. So first of all, let's go and check our Android version and other things. So we are getting same as Evolution X. So we are getting Android 13 years, so 13 GFs built official one Jinko and our security update, security patch level is January 5, 2023. So this is the latest version. Maybe in next month you will have new version of it. So for now, we are getting uh, January 5, 2023 and Android 13. So in the setting is uh, stock setting, there is no actually no, no features at all like you will get with evolution uh, OS and other ROM but in this ROM you don't get any kind of uh, extra feature so we are only getting Xiaomi parts option here to so we can like reduce the screen retention problem so you can do it from here here is my setting you can check and you can do it in on your phone to reduce your screen retention problem Otherwise, you can use like uh, extra dim feature. It, this that one also work like same kind of thing, but your display will dim a little bit. So as we are in settings, so let's go about our hotspot option. So it's similar to the last ROM I have reviewed. So there is no five gigahertz band option, only two point four gigahertz band, and and if we go to fingerprint and security, so we have. Face unlock and fingerprint unlock, both of them. But face unlock is very slow. It's not that fast. But fingerprint also not that fast like the Evolution X. It's also in slow outside, but it works each and every time. There is no issue with that. Let's go about battery now. So, as I said, there is battery backup is very much similar to Evolution X from. So I have maybe I have two a screenshot last time. Let me show you. Okay. So as you can see here, battery uses. So I have forty-five percent left here, and then I have like charged it hundred percent, and I got like three hours, thirty-four minute of screen on time. Maybe you will get like six hours screen on time from this device uh, in regular use. All the time I have used like network, so mobile network is always on. As you can see here, to like three hours mobile network on and half hours maybe I used Wi-Fi. So. Battery backup wise, it is really good actually because I'm continuously using internet and mostly Facebook and Messenger and other things. So, and a little bit games Clash of Clans. So, battery backup wise, it's quite good now. There is no issue with that. Six hours is um, really good actually for this phone because it's really old phone right now, about three years old, and battery is degraded now. If you buy maybe new one, you will get more than that, like seven hours plus battery backup. But as for now, we are getting six hours, almost six hours battery backup. And with the phone, there is like it's come with GFs, not much actually. And also, it comes with uh, MIUI camera. This is actually a big difference from Evolution X ROM because that ROM come with GCAM Go, but in this ROM, you are getting MIUI, MIUI camera. So, actually, that's great. Actually, is getting MIUI camera with the custom ROM because we can now always install GCAM. So as for MIUI camera, that works perfectly fine. 48 megapixel also works, and there is no issue with that. And everything actually working perfectly fine. There is no issue. So as you can see here, front camera, back camera, it's a bit sluggish, but it is working. So if I go here, RAM management is quite okay. So although it's showing 2.8 gigabyte is already used up maybe, and like 1.2 is arrival but if i clear all let me see how much so it says now 3 gigabyte arrival maybe not so let me show you how much arrival really how much arrival so that's actually misleading i don't know why they do that and i don't really get it so free is 1.1 gigabyte here this is a real usage of ram and almost you will get similar type of users so as for now 47 apps are using my RAM, so as you can see here, but that's this is working perfectly fine. I have no issue with 
with uh, multitasking and other things is completely fine. And for other things like performance, it was quite good. But there is no like dedicated gaming mode or other things. So you have to mind that. But, but anyway, this ROM is working perfectly fine. You are getting like so volume panel is here and other things so if we go here and other things about uh, one thing you can customize about this device is that you can change the battery icon only so if you go here battery icon and style so you can choose battery icon circle on the inside or under whatever you want and another thing about that if you double tap on the uh, notification panel it will turn off the screen and then even if you are in, on the home screen it will do that too so there is no issue it works all this and another thing to mention about this ROM is that so in the wallpaper and style option we always get light so if we go here so we are getting only wallpaper is like this only at always and there is no more not much wallpaper built in but you can choose from here so this is Google wallpaper section. You can choose any wallpaper here. And if you want to customize the icon, you are, you are getting those two here. So if you go here, down here, you can change your um, font and also uh, the notification icons. And one thing to notice, another thing is that what I have set, uh, reviewed in my previous ROM also, which is use taskbar. So it's available in this ROM also. I thought it's only available on Evolution X ROM, but it's available here. Maybe it's it's a Android 13 feature which I haven't noticed, but it is here. So as you can see, it's coming now and here. So in this case, whenever you open an apps, it will be here, so it will not move. You can use it anytime, anywhere. There is it convenient convenient with those actually who are using tablet and using custom ROM for those. Actually, it's quite good thing, but. For mobile phone, I don't think it's a useful that much. So that's it about this ROM and quite good ROM, I say. And may and also it has like safety net pass. Safety net does work with this ROM too. But in this case, because I have I'm using Magix right now, so it's failed. But if you don't install Magix, the safety net will pass, and you can use your uh, bank apps and other apps. There will be no apps, and I haven't found any kind of crash or anything like that but we have to uh, have to remind you that whenever when you install this from one first one or two days you will get very bad battery backup but after that it will uh, adjust with your users and you will get really good backup like six hours plus but first one or two days it will day it will drain your battery very fast and you use a lot of battery so that's it about arrow os uh, hopefully you like this video thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time so please sab sabar kar sarakabar sabar kar aaye sarak sarak